Hello everybody, this is Zero Day, and this is the EC2 SSRF scenario in Cloud Goat. It's quite a straightforward scenario. You just start off as a low privileged IAM user who only has read access to Lambda functions. And once you list functions, you find that there's an access key and secret access key in the Lambda environment variables. So you just take that access key and secret access key, you configure it into a new profile, which has EC2 access to describe all instances. So then you find one instance that has a web application open. It is vulnerable to an SSRF vulnerability, which allows you to query the metadata service and obtain the role for the instance profile. So once you get the credentials for that role, you could then enumerate the S3 service to find that there is an, a secret S3 bucket containing the credentials of an admin user. This admin user has the permissions to invoke a Lambda function which basically concludes the whole scenario. So let's check it out. We were provided the access key and secret key. So as usual, let's start with configuring our profile. AWS configure dash dash profile solace. And let's put in the access key and secret key. And after that, let's also configure our AWS C lion engagement. So set engagement EC2 SSRF. And now that we completed the configuration part, let's start by enumerating Solus's IAM permissions. The reason we're gonna start with the IAM service is because that's the juiciest service. That's the one that contains the most misconfigurations. And also this is, an, uh, this is a Solus, this is an IAM user. So that's another reason. It's very likely that this user has IAM permissions. So let's start off with listing the attached user policies of this user of this user. And let's do AWS STS get dash caller dash identity dash dash profile solus. And this is the username. So let's just put that in there and provide the profile of solus. And we are not allowed to run that call. Uh, could we even list the users? Probably not. Uh, let's see, you, you, uh, dash dash profile solus. And we can't. How about the EC2 service? Can we do anything with that? Describe instances with the profile of solus and region US dash East dash one. Uh, again, we cannot do that. Uh, what about Lambda? functions, profile solace, and also provide the same region. And that we do. So we do have Lambda permissions. And as we can see here, we're also given an access key and secret key. Now, that was quite straightforward to list the functions. But suppose it was a less straightforward service. There's also this tool called enumerate IAM. And you can just install it from GitHub. So Python 3, enumerate-iam.py, we could provide the access key and the secret key. So the access key is right here. And the secret key. And what this will basically do is just brute force uh, the all the permissions. Uh, it'll just do read API calls to make sure that the AWS environment does not get modified. So now it's just brute forcing all these different permissions. Um, while that runs, let's look at this access key and secret key and configure it into our profile. So configure, let's call this profile EC2 and provide the access key and secret key. So now let's use STS, get dash caller dash identity profile EC2. And we see that this is another user uh, with this strange name, Rex. Let's see if this user can do any EC2 commands, as this says, EC2 access key. So EC2 describe dash instances profile of EC2. And we must specify a region, US dash East dash one. And we can, there is 
one instance here with this private IP address and this public IP address. So let's take a look at this. Let's curl it. And it says URL must be a string, not undefined. So it seems like it's looking for some sort of parameter, maybe a parameter called URL. So let's do URL equals test. And it says a different uh, error now. It says, welcome to Seth Sex SSRF demo. I want it to be useful, but I could not find test for you. So just from the hint of this scenario, it says SSRF, and that's quite a huge hint that maybe it's some server-side request forgery vulnerability in which you can query the metadata service. So let's do that with 169.254.169.254, and we can. Let's do latest metadata. I am security dash credentials and we see the instance profile role. Let's just put that in there. And now we can configure this new profile. Let's call it SSRF. Put in the access key, the secret access key and also the token. So let's configure that almost went into my AWS credentials there. So session token equals this. And let's put it into AWS credentials. So now ASTS get dash caller dash identity profile SSRF. This should work. And we see it does. This is the assumed role. Before enumerating the permissions of this user, let's go back to that Lambda function that we saw earlier when we listed it. So we saw that we were able to list the functions here. What if we were able to get the function, to get the source code of it? So let's do AWS Lambda get dash function. And let's put in the function name. Function name. And the function name is this. We also need to put in our profile of, was it Solus, I believe? Yes, it was Solus and our region of US-East-1. And we can get it. So let's go here, go over here, paste that in and do a save. By the way, this is the uh, GitHub for that enumerate IAM tool. You can find it right here. So we have it downloaded. Uh, I did not check where I downloaded it. <laughs> was it in the downloads file? No, it was not. Let's see. Show in folder. Uh, oh, it's right here. Cool. So exit ls. Here it is. So let's make a source directory just in case if we were to unzip this file as it is right now, it's possible it will just clog up our directory. So let's just uh, unzip it here. Unzip. And we see there is a, f a function called lambda.py or a script called lambda.py. And it does nothing. All it does is it says you need to invoke this function to win. So it's just a CTF. So it's, it does nothing interesting. Uh, we need to invoke it. Can we invoke it with the Solus user? So AWS lambda invoke function name. What is the name of the function? It was this. Provide our profile of Solus again, region of US dash East dash one and out.txt. And we can't. Maybe we could do this with our SSRF user. AWS Lambda invoke um, with the profile of EC2. Nope. What about the SSRF? Also can't. So we can't do it with the SSRF EC2 and Solus user, but we do have this new SSRF user. So because this is a web application, we got this SSRF from some web application and web applications typically talk with S3 buckets.
because it's very common that you're running some web application and you need to serve files coming from an S3 bucket. So let's enumerate S3 with this profile of SSRF. And we can see that there are three buckets here. Uh, this is just the CloudFormation template I have in my account, and this is CloudTrail. So let's look at this one. This is one from the scenario. So AWS S3 LS, put here, put our profile of SSRF. And we see that there's admin-user.txt. So let's copy that. Let's just put in the recursive file because I'm too lazy to put slash admin-user.txt. Just copy that here. And here we have admin-user.txt. And this looks like an access key and a secret key. So let's configure that. Profile admin, access key, and the secret key. So with this user, I'm assuming it has administrator access. So let's see what happens if we just do list dash users profile admin. And we don't have ad we don't have administrator access because we have an access denied from that. Uh, but this scenario says that you have to invoke the Lambda function in order to win. So maybe the goal is not necessarily to escalate to administrator access, but rather to just invoke that function. So let's go back here where we invoked it. And instead of putting the profile of Solus, let's put the profile of admin. And it looked like it looks like it work. And it says you win. So that's basically this whole scenario. It was just a vulnerable EC2 instance and a couple of misconfigurations such as putting an access key and secret access key into Lambda environment variables, which allowed us to escalate privileges eventually to this admin user who has uh, the ability to invoke Lambda functions. And I almost forgot to show the output of this tool. So let's check it out. So we see that we have Lambda, a couple of Lambda permissions that we could do. One of them is Lambda list functions. So you could just do that with every single user if you don't want to manually test each service. And that's how you can find a pathway. But just know that this is very noisy. And if you look at the CloudTrail logs, it's just filled with tons of access denied calls. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.